Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you watched my last video, you know that I made a weekly language study plan for myself with Notion, which is a completely new experience for me. I've never tried that before. And so in this video, I sort of just wanna give you guys a peek of how I've organized my language study notes in grammar as well as in Spanish reading. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I had underestimated the time that it might take me to finish all my study plans. I really aimed too high because in my mind, I feel like I'm just gonna do a review of this book. But it turned out that it took me at least like a half hour to 45 minutes to finish a page like this. And I gave myself the workload of 15 pages each day. But well, among these 15 pages, there are pages like this, which is just a simple picture. I only use Notion to organize the structures of the book. Before when I made the plan, I was thinking maybe I can just sort of incorporate everything in my Notion notes, including like the language points, the grammar points. But as I worked on it, I realized that the old fashioned way is still easier for me. So I put all the grammar points and the language points on my notebook still. I would just copy the sentence that caused my attention and I would just write um, the meaning of the words next to it. And it also took me longer than I thought to organize the grammar points in my textbook. Especially in the beginning, I was trying to figure out the best way to do these notes in Notion. So I went through this trial and error period on Notion as well. And finally, I have sort of like a template that I'm happy with. And then for the documentary, I didn't watch it at all because I've been binge watching some shows on Netflix. I'm watching Cable Girls now, which I love. I feel like, okay, as long as I am watching something Spanish, I will say it's fine. Well, I tried to watch the documentaries, but the thing is, there were just so many vocabularies and it just really ruined this whole watching experience. I thought I could do it, but I couldn't. So along the way, I just, um, adjusted my plan so that the whole learning experience would be more pleasant for me. I feel like it's good to have a plan, but if you realize that it's mission impossible, I think it's wise to adjust your plan along the way. But yeah, I just want to share this with you guys because this is my real experience throughout the week. Another reason why I didn't finish my study plan is because for the week that I made the plan for myself, it was my week off. So I didn't have any classes, but it turned out that it was very, it was a very chaotic week because I needed this study certificate from the school in order to extend my uh, my student visa here. But the director there wasn't really helpful, so I went to their corporate office. And so near the corporate office, there was a park that was so pretty. So I vlogged a little bit, and at the weekend it was. Uh, really good weather was sunny um, so I went to Arredido as well and I had some lovely clips from Arredido I sort of want to show you guys what it looks like here in Madrid in fall um, so the first part of the video I will show you guys how I have organized my notes and in the second part it would be me sharing what my week looked like so I hope you guys enjoyed the video so now I will just briefly show you guys what my notes in Lotion looks like. I simplified the titles in the menu quite a bit. I got rid of the time consumed part because I couldn't really time myself all the time. And then I got rid of the external link part because I realized that in the external material part, you have the option to either link a file to this page or you can link a URL to this page. So that external link part is kind of redundant. And if you want to link a file to this page, you just drag and drop it here and the file will be saved sort of in the cloud, I think. And when you need access to it, you just click on it and it will direct you to a page like this. I also like this grammar summarization part because it gives you a preview of all the grammar content in this unit. And you can just browse it out here to find the information you need. And let's take a look at my grammar notes first. So this toggle function is hands down my favorite in Notion because it allows you to easily structure the content and keeps your note page neat and clean. Take Betty Flasses as an example. I have six major categories and below each major category, 
I used bullet points to indicate the specific phrases, and under each point, I put several examples to show how this phrase can be used. I've also highlighted the phrase part in the sentence. But I don't do comprehensive notes like this for all the contents. For example, I've already had a pretty good understanding of this part, so I'll just list them out without too much detail. I only highlighted the part where it's new to me. You can also do columns, which is perfect for comparison between words like bought and bada. I didn't include all the differences here, I only put down the part where I get confused. These are actually where I did wrong in the exercise in the book. For reading, I sort of follow the same structure as the grammar notes. I use this toggle function in all these words in pink, the titles of the book. And this purple part is my own conclusion of what this chapter is about. So for example, in this chapter, it mainly talks about the social environment of the era. I also highlight the sub-themes within this one chapter. Doing this has really deepened my understanding of the book because now I feel like I'm looking at it at a distance and I can see the skeleton of the book instead of getting caught by all the details. So my overall experience with Notion is that I think it's a perfect note-taking app because it allows you to structure all the contents and you can find what you need super fast. But as I said before, for vocabularies, I still like to keep them in my physical notebook because it gives me this great sense of satisfaction when I physically write them down. And I also like to just flip through the pages to do some review. And my classes. I also need this sort of certificate, like study certificate. Anyway, I didn't succeed yesterday. The school is saying that it's none of their business because I'm taking online classes now and I need to go to the corporate office. Anyway, yesterday was just such a mess and I've got a lot of errands to run. So I didn't really study yesterday. And But today I think I have better luck at the corporate office the guy is really understanding of the situation uh, i don't know how things gonna go we're about to see one or two days and now i'm gonna just since i'm out already i'm just gonna walk around a little bit it's so pretty here oh look at the I wish I lived here. So pretty. Thank you. 